everyone, it's your friend Think Noodles, and welcome back to Clash of Clans. And well, it's it's been a while since the last video. I mean, in terms of when I recorded it. So I have made a few improvements. I've got some crystal walls here. I got two wizard towers, um, fully upgraded. Well, I mean, upgraded to level three as far as I can upgrade in this. Um, mortar is upgraded here. This one's almost upgraded. Um, my army camps while I'm oh. Upgrading the last one right here, so I have 150 troops, which I really want the next army camp. Um, upgrading my first, actually I'm upgrading, I think this is my first gold mine that I'll be upgrading to level 10. Um, I think, yeah. Um, and then I've upgraded this. The next thing I want to upgrade here is uh, is to this, because um, I, I feel like I'm, I'm going to leave the balloons uh, as sort of a later upgrade, I, I use the healing spells more often than I would the balloons because it's nice to have healing spells in your pocket um, and they don't eat up any of your troop space and balloons eat up troop space. And I can't really use them that well anyway, um, other than in the single player stuff, which I've done a little bit of and we're going to do today. But before we get to any of that, guys, what I do want to do is finally uh, address or uh, put up the new thumbnail. Um, it was created by Mr. Sandman98, although I don't know his actual... He's got a secondary channel that he does his art on now. And if he did a speed art, I will include it in the description below so you guys can check it out. But it's the Clash of Clans shield. But of course, as you guys can see, it's like it's got chopsticks in it and the noodle bowl and all that stuff. So, um, ooh, nice. Thank you, Titan. <laughs> I just requested some troops and now my clan castle is full. But I don't know. I mean, here they come. Woohoo! Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use them in this because we're going to be doing single player. But before we get to the single player, I have an update. Guys, um, okay. How do I, uh, how do I see our, let's see. Can I see our war log? Guys, we lost. It was our first loss and we did not do well at all. Normally, uh, it was the least number of stars we've gotten all since we started 38 days ago. 194, 115, 118, 107 to 41. I mean, we crushed these people. And I think that is part of what happened. Um, I guess we can't see any more, like, anything more detailed but as you guys saw, um, you know, I was number 36 in the war, I think, on our team. And it was recommending me against number 49 of their team. Which, I mean, it tells you something. Uh, it tells you that uh, we, uh, for some reason, maybe with that super lopsided victory, 107 to 41, um, Clash of Clans decided, you know what, let's give them a challenge. So it did. And we were really overmatched. Um, I think also um, their clan, well, I, I want to say their clan was more active, but it couldn't because they they actually, um, for the first time ever in one of our wars, the other team had, or I guess, used more of their attacks than we did. Now, that said, it could be because they were more, I guess, more highly powered than we were. And therefore, they were more willing to take attacks. And when some of our members got in, they're like, whoa, I'm so overmatched. I'm not even going to bother attacking because I'm not going to get any stars. So, I don't know. But either way, we lost. And that's okay. Every clan loses eventually. And uh, hopefully in the next one, it'll put us with someone more evenly matched uh, so that we have a better chance. Um, I think I got two starred. On, on it and now my um, my base is gonna be a lot stronger with the wizard towers and the mortar and everything in the next war uh, so we should have a better chance we'll see um but uh oh I also wanted to say and I've I've sent a couple clan messages out about it but uh, uh in the clan like I I think I had said um, you you know I might kick you for uh, having lopsided um, uh, donation to to troop receiving and I'm going to go ahead and uh, start um, the single player one. we're going to do obsidian tower here and um, I've already scouted this. I'm just going to go with uh, with archers here. So hopefully I've got enough um, to just I guess this is what I'm going to try and do is uh, go for each archer tower and then uh, I'm not even going to use balloons because we've got wizard towers. We've also got um, 
Okay, let's see. Come on, get in there. Get it, get it, get it. Okay, uh, we've got wizard towers. We've got this, um, and I'm gonna put a few more here. I don't know. Wait, why are they? Okay, yeah. Uh, let's see if we can... There we go. Um, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I said, and yeah, the wizard towers, uh, will take out balloons. So I, I, there, I didn't see a point to, uh, there we go. Come on, get the wizard tower, get the wizard tower. Why are you guys... Okay, there we go. Oh, ouch! That hurt. That hurt a lot. Um, should be able to get that last wizard tower there. That should be enough, actually. Um, yeah, they got it. Sweet! 100%! Woo! Uh, so, yeah. Now, uh, the... I don't want people in the in the in my clan to think that they're gonna kicked out for for asking for troops. That is totally not what I meant. What I meant is if you have like 800 troops received and zero troops donated, that's lopsided. If you have like 400 troops received and you've given out 40, that's okay. Um, you know, uh, just I want people to be more active in the clan. Uh, I think that by me saying, "Oh, you'll get kicked out." If it's lopsided, I didn't qualify that by saying what I meant by lopsided, and um, so people were afraid to request. And I mean, look at look at me alone. Um, if you look at, uh, let's see, let's see what I'm doing here. Uh, where am I? Uh, see, I've got 145 and 47. Totally okay. That is totally fine. Obviously, because I. You know, in 75 and 9, that's fine. I want people to request troops because that promotes activity in the clan. Um, and also, donate. Uh, so when people are asking anything good or spare that you have, of course, whatever. Got it. Done. Um, and yeah, just always be looking and always giving whenever people are asking. And that so it goes both ways. So uh, I want to do at least one more single player, maybe two. Uh, so let's scout this. And this is what I usually do with the single player. Um... Now, see, this one, without the wizard towers, let's see, are there traps? Okay. Um, without the wizard towers, and this is what I usually do, I just scout things a little bit here. Oh, hello! Okay, so we've got Teslas here. Um, okay. Uh, because the cool thing about this is you can go in and the fight, don't get anything, but you don't lose trophies or anything like that for, for, um, for scouting. So you can go in, lose a couple of troops, and figure out the defenses before you go in and waste an entire army. <sighs> that one's going to be a pretty complicated army setup. Uh, let me go ahead and build my army and maybe build up some cash or at least some elixir because this is uh, is going to be uh, coming out soon. So I'll be back. I might go um, run some quick attacks with just some straight up barbarians. Um, so I can uh, build up some elixir. That's probably what I'll do. That's what I've been doing is almost a full army of barbarians. It's not a great army composition, but it's cheap, it's quick to build, and you can usually get at least a star, and um, you can get a lot of resources by doing it. So it sort of balances the uh, the trophies and elixir um, uh, and gold uh, that you want to get. Uh, because you've got to loot. Uh, in order to get from 6 to 7, you definitely have to loot. You can't rely on your gold mine and elixir collectors to... Um, oh, I didn't realize that one's at level 8. I thought they were all level 9. Mm, okay. That's that's definitely an upgrade soon. Um, but yeah, you can't rely on just collection or else you're going to be here for months. Uh, you really do need to... I mean, the, the walls alone, I think with like 150... There's 125 walls I think we have at... Uh, 75,000 per upgrade. That's like almost 10 million gold just for the walls. So yeah, it'd take forever. Anyway, uh, let me, um, let me get a little bit of an army built up and then we'll go in and, uh, and go for Arrowhead here. Okay. I'm back and you guys might notice I don't actually have 600,000. I have 500,000. And, uh, the reason for that is <laughs> when this finished upgrading, well, I can't upgrade to that, but when it finished upgrading this spell, uh, level five to go to, uh, the four, I guess, well, level five lab needed to go to level four healing. So didn't know that until now. So I just figured, okay, I'll get over 450,000 and boom, we're going to upgrade balloons. So always keep that going. Um, not that I use balloons a ton. I am going to use them on this single player battle, but, um, 
Uh, and also, you know, you guys, oh, the other thing is it's weird. On my iPhone, it automatically upgraded and took away all the snow. But on the Android one, it didn't yet. So I don't really know why. Um, but yeah, it said it was an optional upgrade to remove winter and that's all it removed. But on this, it's still snowing. Maybe, maybe by the next time I play, it'll automatically upgrade to the non-snowing version. I don't know. Uh, you guys might wonder like, hey, you haven't um, upgraded your gold storage yet. And I know that I get an achievement for that. Um, but I, I really am not going to waste um, uh, upgrading uh, to the storage is because I can just take instead of taking the you know the money or you know instead of taking the elixir uh, to, to upgrade these I can spend it on other stuff so right now basically my gold storage is kind of in my walls uh, <laughs> uh, so I don't really ever have to worry I'm you know I'm not going to get to the point where I get to a million gold I'm like oh I don't know what to do with it there's tons of stuff to do with it um, especially all these walls uh, let me show you right before I do the single player one. I want to show you the last battle that um, I did to get, you know, over the the elixir that I needed. And I want to show you guys why I designed my base like this with compartments. Um, the reason being that, you know, you can breach this wall here and then you've only got the archer tower. Then you got to breach another wall to get to here. And the reason that's important is I'll show you guys why um, right uh, here. Um, so, I mean, this looks, you might think, oh, this is a pretty decent base. He's got walls all the way around and everything. The problem is that he's used so much space for his outer walls uh, to keep, like, his elixir storage and his gold storage in that once you've breached those outer walls, it's really easy. Um, and you guys will see, all I had was an army of barbarians. Level 3 barbarians, um, I think 145 of them. Nothing else, no spells or anything else. And you can just overrun this base here. I'll double speed it. You can overrun the base entirely. And as you guys see, once I breach this wall here, I have unfettered access to all of his storages and all of his defenses. And you can just run right through them, no problem at all. Once you're in, you're in, and you can just just tear them apart. And that's why you need compartments. Um, put your store, put your your collectors outside. Just make sure to collect them every day, and um, and, and then put your um, put your you know, your defenses in separated compartments so that they can't get all the way to here. By the time they get into this inner compartment, they've got a pretty overpowered army that we're going to take you anyway. But if you compartmentalize things, it's really a lot harder for them to break down your defenses and get all the way in and uh, and steal your storages, which are the most important. At least, you know, in my case, uh, I you know, I, I'm always checking in and collecting from my collectors and my my gold mines. So my storages are the most important. So anyway, that's a tip that I've learned so far. Uh, that's one of the things that's really important. I found that any base that's compartmentalized like this is really hard to beat and one that is just one big thing. Even if they've got great walls around the outer side, once you breach those walls, it's over for them. So. Okay, guys, take two. Um, so I, I actually started the battle, um, the single player battle, but it quickly became apparent that my, I, I don't know what I did wrong. I, I've, I don't know. I think, okay, I'll, well, let me, let me see. Am I full? Okay. Cause I think my army breakdown is okay. The, okay. So um, let me go into it. And what I tried to do, which was probably not the correct way to do this, was I tried to come in um, to the air defense first. And I think I should use, uh, and I tried to do that with my archers, but they started attacking the, um, they started attacking these storages instead. So what I think I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna go with my barbarians on the archer towers first and see how that goes. And then, uh, and I have my spells and everything, which I didn't use. I just, I was like, you know what? This isn't working. Let's go back <laughs> and try that again. Uh, so yeah, you can see some of the loot is taken, but, um, okay. All right. So let's go, we'll go with like, we'll try and put like even amounts on each one. And I don't know, I don't know what I did wrong last time, but it did not work out very well. Uh, come on, get it there okay 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 this is already going better uh because i think yeah okay i got all the archer towers that's good okay now um i can let them do whatever they're gonna do oh look they're already taking out the storages so uh i think i need to get these teslas out of here first and hopefully 
Okay, come on, get in, get in, get him. Okay, got him, got him, and hopefully, see, this is what happened last time. They go for the um. Ah, oh, this is this is this is bad. Okay, let's see if I can heal. Give them a little bit of healing, and I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna do this. Let's do this. I mean, hopefully this will work. Oh, jeez, Louise, it's not gonna work, is it? No. All right. <laughs> oh, I had another balloon. Okay. Wow, the, the, okay, come on, Hog Rider, get in there, get in there, get in there. No. Well, no matter what I do, I am, this one is really, really hard for me. I, I guess I used the wrong troop breakdown. I'm not really sure. Look at that. I got wrecked by single player, like completely. Ugh. Well, okay, guys, I guess I'm going to have to work on my strategy for that one. Probably a different troop breakdown. I think that's my problem. Um, Maybe... Huh. I actually, I really don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Clash of Clans. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching. And of course, noodle on.